I'm going to talk with you about where our food comes from. I think you know something about this already. Let's see, what do chickens grow on? On an eggplant, of course. <laughs> Actually, that's not really true, is it? Let's examine where our food really comes from. You see what I did there? Do you eat chips with your burger? Do you know that chips are made out of potatoes? What about what goes into making bread and spaghetti? They come from a grain chain, from wheat. Do you ever eat fish and chips? We always eat that on my birthday. Fish comes from chicken, doesn't it? Okay, just checking. Fish comes from fish farms or from the sea. How do you think the fish in your fish and chips or the meat in your hamburger actually arrive on your plate? Well, it all starts with a process called agriculture. Agriculture is the cultivation of animals and plants for food. In other words, agriculture is where we purposely grow or raise things like apples and cows and fish so that we can have food for human life. This mostly happens on farms, but I think you knew that. There are many types of farms, from broad acre properties, growing crops like wheat and rice, to cattle stations, to free range or organic farms. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people farmed before the arrival of the first fleet. They trapped eels and fish, grew some crops and even herded kangaroos. If you haven't tried kangaroo meat at least once, what are you waiting for? Hop to it! Let's think about milk. It comes from the supermarket, right? Well, yes, but how does it get there? A farmer has dairy cows and they're milked at least twice every day. Tankers transport the milk from the dairy farms to the nearest milk processing plant. On arrival, milk from the tanker is sent to the laboratory where it is tested to ensure that it has been kept at or below 4 degrees Celsius during transport and that it has been delivered within 24 hours of milking. The tests also check for bacteria. The milk is then pumped into large insulated vats before being put into cartons or containers and then trucked to your local shop or supermarket where, voila, you buy it. Milk can be processed further into... Go on, it's okay, you can call it out. Lay your ideas on me. That's right. Milk can be processed into cheese, butter, flavoured milk, cream, or my personal favourite, ice cream. What about bees? Why did the bee cross the road? Just because, or maybe to collect some sweet pollen. You see, farmers provide beehives, these cool homes for the bees. Have you ever noticed that there are different flavours of honey? That's because the honey tastes like the flowers that are commonly found near the hives. The bees go out and find the local flowers. They use their long tube-like tongues, like straws, to suck the nectar out of the flowers and then they store it in their stomachs and carry it to the beehive. While inside the bee's stomach for about half an hour, the nectar is converted into honey. The bees then drop the honey into the bee's wax comb, the hexagonal cells that the bees make inside their hive. The bees then fan their wings to evaporate the water out of the honey and then they cover it in wax to keep it fresh. So, in a nutshell, the honey that we eat is the flower nectar that the honey bees have collected, regurgitated and dehydrated. The farmers, who incidentally are called beekeepers, or if you really want to impress your friends, are called apiarists, collect the honeycomb. The honey is then sent to be processed and then packaged before being sold in your local supermarket. I've talked about milk and I've talked about honey and now it's your turn to think about how your food goes from the paddock or the ocean to your plate. Work with about three of your classmates to create a sequence flowchart that shows the steps in the process. 
You can revisit milk or honey if you like, or if you're a real whiz and know the backstory of another food, like fish or bread, or even a burger, you can work on charting that process. Did you get all that? You need to work with a few of your friends to draw a flowchart of a food from the paddock or the ocean to your plate. You can do it. Finally, I leave you with this critical question. If a cow laughed really hard, would milk come out of her nose? <laughs> oh, sorry, that's utter nonsense. Now work hard and do that flowchart. Goodbye and good day.